all right guys so what we got here is a five foot t-post and essentially what i'm doing is just driving it a foot in the ground and then these cattle fences are about 50 inches wide um, so we're gonna uh spread them out about 50 inches wide uh, about 70 inches apart so let's get started it ends up being the perfect height because kevin can easily walk in it without bumping his head so But for now, temporarily, we're just going to secure the uh, cattle panel to the T-post using some zip ties. As you can see right here, we have a shade cloth. Now, most of you are probably thinking, Kevin, why does your garden need a shade cloth? Well, we live in Georgia, and it sometimes pushes up to the high 90s um, with a lot of humidity, like 100% humidity. So I don't want the um, sun beating down on the garden, you know, cooking these vegetables yet. You know, I want to do the cooking. I don't want the sun to do the cooking. What a day it has been. Uh, we're going to give you a little bit of a garden update. As you can see, the garden has changed just a little bit. Uh, first off, we started this morning, we went down the road to harvest some bamboo. Uh, we just put a long piece in the middle to cut some of the slack out. Uh, as you can see here, we did some more planting, but we have okra here. We got peas. We got uh, the pumpkins that we started from seed. Uh, we also put uh, three more pumpkin seedlings in there. Uh, over here, we got the watermelon. It's going, and we have some cucumbers. These two are not looking that great, but we have these three over here. They're looking pretty good. As well, we have some corn. We got three uh, stalks of corn that we started from seed, and we put some more corn seeds. Just go ahead in the garden. And uh, another thing is, is y'all see all this black stuff snaking its way through? That is a, the water irrigation. We were gonna do some PVC irrigation, um, but after contemplating at the Home Depot store, uh, this right here was a lot more of a cheaper route. Um, 100 foot of hose, uh, 25 foot hose section, um, timer, you know, it came out cheaper to buying um, all the PVC piping and doing all that extra work. Um, so that, that turned out really good. We just had to get some more staples to hold the um, irrigation um, line down so pretty much we've been uh balls to the wall just trying to get this garden uh self-sustaining here to where uh you know we're able to go on vacation and uh you know uh, when abby's mom comes over uh, she doesn't have to do anything but you know just to water a few plants over there in the raised beds but other than that it's been coming along really well uh, hopefully we can get some more mulch this week before we go on vacation uh, we're just going to mulch the whole garden and these tomatoes over here. Now, yesterday we came back from Florida. So we came out here uh, to look at the garden and see how things were doing. And things are really doing really good. So we're going to start off with the squash here. Y'all check it out. Look at the squash. The squash are really big. You can see here. We're starting to get a little baby squash. Got a few of them going on here. Not so much this one, but got some over there. But these are getting really big. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we got some. Another. We're gonna we're gonna be clipping these today, so that they can start to grow even taller onto the arch itself. Yep, nice little squash. This one is trying to make a comeback, and this one is not too far behind but yeah like Abby said we're gonna clip them onto the trellis so they can start uh training themselves to grow up the trellis which is gonna be nice the uh okras are doing pretty good they're getting nice and big oh, those are like peas are the peas uh one's pea and one's okra yeah so they're doing pretty good these are doing pretty good and the pumpkins over here well, they're getting chewed on by something, so we're gonna have to look into pest control. Yeah, they got some, they're getting little holes. 
but the pumpkin's looking really good. They're coming along nice. Might um, have to start clipping these pretty soon. It looks like the ones who are getting more sun for the pumpkins are doing better. Yeah, because that, one, that one's getting full sun. These are getting full sun, so. These were seeds uh, that we just planted directly into the ground rather than starting seedlings just to see how they would go, mm -hmm. and they're doing pretty good. Yep. So they're doing nice. And then the watermelon over here, as you can see, this one's, this one's one plant, and you can see it's starting to grow. So we're going to have to train that in the direction that we need it to go, as well as these other two. Um, this one cucumber is doing good. It was this one and another one um, that weren't doing so good. That one died, but this one's coming back. And then these other three cucumbers are are doing well, especially that one. And then the corn is taking a beating. We got these three stalks coming up, but you can see like they're, they're worms or something. You can see the little worm in there. But the worms are eating up the corn. Yeah, so we're, so gonna, we're gonna, to, gonna work on some pest control. Yeah, you're gonna have to deal with the pest. Um, but as you can see here, we just uh, temporarily put down the hay uh, just to act as a, like a mulch layer because we couldn't get some before we went on vacation. But as you can see now, there's grass growing. So what we're gonna have to do is um, remove the irrigation line and we're gonna break all the hay back off and. We're getting more mulch today. We're also pulling weeds and uh, working on the trellises and pest control. So we have a yep. busy day ahead of us. Yep, we're gonna have a very busy day here. We got like a little little window before we have to go get mulch. Um, but I think uh, just in that time, we're just gonna rake all the hay out of the garden. Um, maybe pull a little weeds and then go get mulch. And then that's gonna be the real um, I'm not gonna say time consuming part, but it's gonna be, um, you know, I'm not gonna say labor intensive anyway, so. Let's get to it then. Well, let's get started. All right, so we got all this mulch here. This is uh, some cedar mulch. My buddy Cody owns a uh, like a tree removal business, so he's got a lot of mulch laying around. So, Cody, for watching, I appreciate it, buddy. Uh, it's gonna be nice for the garden and whatnot. start harvesting some of these vegetables okay so I'm going to use these for the first time so you're gonna learn along with me but essentially to help these plants grow the way that we're wanting them to I'm gonna have to clip a couple of them some of them I won't be clipping today but for these bigger ones they'll definitely be getting clipped and that way they can eventually crawl in this so this one it doesn't really have anything with like a solid height ideally i'd want to like clip it here so that the weight of this bottom one will support but on this one we're going to start here these are really easy to move i want to go ahead and just keep this one close so as it grows it'll just work its way over here but as you can see i don't really have anything that's going to be like a better height for up here also, look at how nice of a day it is, even though it's scorching. Again, your stem goes here and you want to clip the middle. Honestly, it kind of stays in place. It doesn't slide down like you think it would, so that's kind of cool. Hold up, we got an update. It's hot. Someone got into the hose, it looks like, because... Uh, no, the water, the wheelbarrow was filling up with water because I had a uh, port on a bush over there. 
I dumped my face in it and that felt good. And I took my gator off and I dunked it and I put it back on. You so. wet the wrong bush, babe. My beard is dripping. I know, it's it's refreshing. I, that, if that tells you how hot it is right now, so. Look at these. I'm sure he said something, but we had my mom watch the house and because of our drip irrigation, we had peace of mind. She didn't have to come out here for any of these and nothing died while we were gone. Well guys, there you have it. We have one tomato trellis. Essentially just some bamboo, tie it together, and we got string running all the way down to the plant. And as far as over here with the cucumbers, we did the same thing. Did a frame. I didn't have to put no uh, supports on this one because this is pretty, it's pretty solid. I, I kind of drove that. The, this soil is a lot uh, softer than the one over there by the tomatoes. So I was able to drive those a little bit deeper. But as you can see, the plants and the frame are a little bit offset, but we got the string running down to the plant. And then once this cucumber gets big enough, we'll tie it up on the trellis there. It's been like, what, uh, a week or two after we got back from vacation. So things are looking really well. We're just out here doing a little bit of work in the garden. And uh, as you can see over there, Abby is uh, putting some more irrigation line for some more corn. But uh, y'all check this out. So these right here are our pumpkin plants. Um, they're doing really well. Uh, as you can see here, if you look through here, they got the little little tendrils right here uh, grabbing onto the arch. So that's really well. Um, but another thing is we're not really sure why this pumpkin plant looks this way and this one looks another way. Um, we're just thinking uh, it might be a different variation of pumpkin, but these are doing pretty good. As well as these guys over here, they're doing really well. The uh, beans over here, they're doing pretty good. As you can see, they're, they're producing a little beans. So they're doing pretty good. And uh, the squash over here is doing magnificent. I've already put three. Yeah, Abby's already put three in the fridge. So that's gonna be nice. We got some more down here. Um, very nice squash plant, like very big, very healthy. Uh, this one's not doing so good, the one here in the middle, um, but it's got a little bit of growth to it, uh, mainly because uh, this uh, big one here is, um, you know, hogging up all the sun and, and uh, whatever. So got a little one here, got a little squash growing down there. And then over here, we got some more. We got two squashes here. Um, we got another one growing in here, as you can see back there. And then we have a few right here. The corn's doing pretty good. I'm not really sure what's going on with this one here. It's got, it got like... Well, it, we had to do a little bit of pest management when we uh, got back from vacation. We have some organic spray that I did this week. It definitely helped. Like, I don't see any more of those worms, but mm -hmm. you can tell just previously where they were yeah um i'm about to plant more and we just did more irrigation the corn is doing pretty well the cucumbers over here are doing awesome i'm gonna have to retie this one right here but abby says we have a little baby cucumbers growing can you point them out yeah right here little baby cucumbers they look like little hairy pickles yeah those are nice and um, uh as you can see just uh we're learning but for you guys too he tied this off and since he tied it off, it's now grown. And so he's going to untie it and retie it up here so that mm -hmm. it continue to vertically grow. Yep, and you can see these little uh, tendrils right here are uh, looking for something to grab onto so it can grow up. But yeah, these three cucumbers are doing pretty good. And the watermelon over here is crawling. Ooh, I think I see our first flower though. Uh oh. We were just talking about this. So this is a good sign. Oh my God, this is our first melon. Look, guys, oh, our first. first melon is growing. I know that's that's nice. Honestly, it looks like the um, the watermelon can actually grow uh, on an arch too, because you can see yeah, here I've they seen. have they have these little tendrils right here too. So, guys, based on how the squash does, because we tried the squash on the arch because 
again we're like new to this um and we saw videos of people trying it so if the squash doesn't really take to the arch this time i think we might try with the watermelon because yeah. i saw where as long as you like take care of it um surprisingly the weight of pumpkins and watermelons they'll support themselves so that you can just easily plug them so yeah. i think we'll do that so i'm inter interested to see how that works out just want to see like a like a 10 15 20 pound pumpkin just dangling from the heart so it'd be pretty cool i guess bt spray uh again this really worked it's captain jacks it was really cheap um yeah you want to put this anytime that you see cornworms every time i googled what's going to be all natural good for cornworms this is what pulled up yep. and then i wanted to try it because i saw good reviews again really cheap organic this is working really well. Um, I sprayed our okra and peas, and it looks like they've grown this week. So, and as you can see over here, the sweet potato slips are doing pretty good. Um, you know, they're they're looking hardy. I'm uh, gonna let them grow a little bit bigger before we start, uh, you know, uh, clipping and planting and stuff like that. We also have to figure out where we are, are gonna grow our sweet potatoes at. But the uh, tomatoes are doing pretty good. This one's looking a little dried out, but it's, we've been we've been watering twice a day. Yeah, it's, it's really hot yeah. here, guys. We're not getting rain for weeks. It's like we're in a heat zone right now. Or it's uh feels like in the hundreds. So it's, yeah, it's, it's really uh, hot. It's been a few weeks since we had rain. It's been like the sun's just been beating. But we've been watering the tomatoes twice a day. Our carrots are looking good. Uh, the bell peppers are okay they're struggling um the marigolds over here they're doing pretty good uh, the herbs over here they're doing really good these other herb plants they're doing pretty good now um, don't ask me which herb is what because uh we lost track of that but anyway the garden's looking really good gonna get this one cucumber plant retied um you know later on tonight we'll get the watering uh, we'll see you on the next update.